From the discovery of stardust older than the sun to the discovery of the largest dinosaur in Australia, the last 18 months have been quite eventful for historical discoveries and things keep getting more astonishing and interesting. Scientists have now discovered what could be a new species of humans, a separate branch of humanity altogether, which existed on this planet thousands of years ago and was not on its way to becoming our species, the Homo sapiens. Then what was the species exactly? Where did they live? How did they look? And what happened to this species of humans? Here's a report on all you need to know. What you see is no ordinary skull. It belongs to a completely new species of humans. One that roamed this planet thousands of years ago. Its discovery is reshaping the very story of human evolution. The backstory is straight out of a movie. It begins in 1933, when a construction worker found an ancient skull buried deep in northeast China. He discovered it near the Harbin River in China's Heilongjiang province. According to a study by the Innovation, the laborer chose to hide the skull and did not mention it to anyone. He buried it in an abandoned well, where it remained wrapped and hidden for 85 years. In 2018, the laborer told his family about the fossil right before he died. The family dug it up and donated it to the Geoscience Museum in Hebei. Three years and countless evaluations later, to an unknown species which they're calling Homo longi or Dragon Man, a name derived from its geographic location, the Heilongjiang province, which roughly translates to the Dragon River. Don't go by its weird terminology, the Dragon Man is being called our closest evolutionary relative. It represents a group that lived in East Asia 146,000 years ago. It had large square eye sockets, thick brow ridges, a wide mouth and oversized teeth. Its skull is bigger than the average skulls of species from that time, but the brain is comparatively same in size as other species. All these facial features make the Dragon Man resemble modern people more closely than any other extinct species, even Neanderthals. So where exactly did it live? Scientists say the Dragon Man probably lived in a forested floodplain area, but it may have been able to disperse throughout Asia based on the location where it was found. Its large size indicates the Dragon Man may have also adapted to harsh environments. The reason for its extinction is still unknown. The unknowns along with nature, location and name of the discovery may be a good reason to doubt its credibility. But the composition of the research team settles most suspicions. A group of international researchers worked on evaluating the Dragon Man. They're sticking their neck out to say that it is indeed a separate branch of humanity. Whether it will become a separate branch of China's propaganda campaign, we shall find out soon enough. Bureau Report, We On. World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.